In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new Facebook pixel and install it on your Shopify store. The method I'm going to give you is very simple and straight to the point. Just go to your Facebook ads manager, then go to all tools, click on business settings, now go to data sources, select data sets, and from here you can create a new pixel by clicking on add, give your pixel a name, let me just use Shopify store pixel. You can use any name you want. Then go ahead and click on create. For the next step, go to your Shopify store, click on apps, and then search for Facebook. You will see the official Facebook and Instagram plugin for Shopify. Just click on it. And then go ahead and install this plugin. Here, click install. After installing Facebook and Instagram, the next step is to connect your Facebook account to your Shopify store. So to do that, just click on get started and then click connect account. Since I already have my Facebook account logged in on this browser, I can just go ahead and click on confirm account. But if you don't have your Facebook account logged in on the browser you are working on, Facebook will require you to log into your account before you proceed. So I'll just click on confirm account and then click allow. The next step is to connect your Facebook Business Manager account. And you'll see all the business accounts you have on your Facebook showing up right here. So I'll select the business account I'm working with. That's the same business account where you created your new Facebook picture. Then select how you want to share your store data with Facebook. For the best results, I'm going to use the maximum option. Then click Save. Now select the pixel you want to work with. This is the pixel I just created, Shopify store pixel. So this is the one I'm going to use. You also have the option to create a new pixel from inside your Shopify store. But I already have my pixel, so I'll connect it, then check terms and conditions. And with all of this in place, you can proceed to submit for review. This is going to take just a couple of seconds. And at this point, you have your Facebook pixel installed on your Shopify store. To test if everything is working properly, just go to settings, then click on your pixel ID. That'll open the event manager in your business account. Go to test events, select website events. Then I'll just get my website URL, paste it right here, then click on test events. And you can see Facebook recorded a page view. That means our pixel is working perfectly. Every activity on your page will be recorded. Let's say if I go to the product page, I go to the cart page, I go to checkout, you will see that all these events are being recorded, which means our pixel is working perfectly. At this point, the final thing you need to do is to connect this pixel to your ad account. And that will give your ad account access to use this pixel when setting up ads. So to do that, let's go back to business settings, click on all tools, then go to business settings, then open data sources and select data sets. I'll select my Shopify store pixel, then click on connect assets, other business assets, select your ad account, and then click add. You can start creating ads with this pixel. So for instance, if I go to my ads manager, let's say I'm setting up ads to sell my product, I can just click on create, select the sales objective, click continue, use the manual setup option, set my daily campaign budget, then click next. For the conversion location, select website, and then performance goal, I'll select maximize number of conversions, set your targeting, and click next. Here for the ad setup, if I scroll down to tracking, select website events, and now you see that I can select my Shopify store pixel to track this campaign. And once you are done with all these steps, you can just go ahead and publish your ad. With this setup, Facebook will be able to track important events on your Shopify store. Stuff like add to cart, initiate checkout, purchase, and all of this information will help you optimize your ads to get better results and make more money. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll be there answering your questions. Thank you so much for watching. 
and I'll see you guys in the next one.